Welcome back to The Sims 4 Cottage Living. Today we're going to try and play through a whole week, which doesn't actually sound like that crazy, but we often go really slow because there's so much to do in a day. But I want to get through the week because I think Angus is going to age up. We need to get to another fair to hopefully try and get Trenton to win for once. We'll try. Um, and yeah, we'll just plow through it. We got we to gotta do a few things. Hazel's just hanging out up here on top, finishing off a little painting. Angus, yeah, so he is going to age up. Let's have a look. In five days. It doesn't seem like that close, but but he, he's getting there. Yeah, well, look at him go. All right, have you, have you done all your stuff? You've got your little project, you do your extra credit. Have you done your homework? You have. I didn't actually mean to favor that. That was a mistake. Uh, Trenton, you can come back. It's time to cry. <laughs> you poor thing. You got a second place ribbon. It's fine. Uh, so the next fair is, what is it? Chicken fair. All right, we got golden chicken. Oh my lord! <laughs> All right, let's go do this. Ten garden. Where's Chaz? Get down here. Oh, let's go take care of Let's take care of this. You've gone to bed. That's fine. She's got a bunch of paintings. Do we have another gig? I feel like we should just do another gig, you know? Do we have... Oh, we do. Room renovation. Budget 4489. So the realm of magic house. We want to keep doing that. Kitchen renovation! We already did that. <laughs> we need the other rooms. Um, In-law edition. The in-laws are coming. Aren't the in-laws dead? Level renovation, a whole level. Uh, living room level. Basement gym. That seems like a terrible idea. Add a level to the home, no. All right, let's do a, I'm gonna do a basement gym because that just sounds so stupid. All right, so that is, I guess later today, yeah. <laughs> Did a few hours, okay. Yeah, let's keep working on the garden. Oh, it was New Year's Eve. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about that. I guess it's a bit late, it's already, it's already gone past most of this. I don't think we can count, oh well, whatever. Okay, you know how I said the lag is still there? Uh, I often cut it out of the video, but you guys keep telling me just press escape to, to get it to go away. Uh, oh, look, there it is. Do it and still, still, uh, it's kind of, it's better, but it kind of makes no difference half the time. So, you know, I just, I just live with it. Well, so my camera was a little dark, so I just turned it up. That's better. All right, can you guys, Chaz, you're gonna go over here. There you go. What is wrong with, oh, you're just sad from the holiday. That's okay. <laughs> you actually, everyone's in actually a pretty good mood, so surprisingly we're all doing pretty well. Oh yeah, that's the lag I'm talking about. Try escape. Oh yeah, see, look, it's still there. <laughs> oh my god, look at the dog run. Just clear all those out. That sometimes helps. Nah, it didn't help. Look, we just have to, we just live with it. Um, you haven't actually finished tending the garden, dude. Thank you. You know what's gonna happen? We're gonna finish doing this 6 a.m. 6 a.m. is gonna hit and they're all just gonna become weedy again, aren't they? <laughs> it's, it's definitely gonna happen. All right, looks like we're done with all that. Now let's go over to the evil chickens. Clean and collect eggs. Uh, I got Chaz taking care of these two down here, so it should be all right. All right, egg-wise, uh, I've got some more golden eggs. We've got a hatchable gold. Oh, wait, how many chickens do we have in here now? Four. We actually are getting the hatchable again, which is nice. Let's pop that in. So we've already got one that's on the way to being hatched, which is fantastic. We're good. We're getting back to the golden chicken lifestyle. So the ones I'm selling, I pop in this fridge, right? And the ones I'm keeping, I pop in our, our regular fridge. So let's do that. And then Trenton's got what? Oh, got the llama in. I should probably put llama node back in here. <laughs> Ooh, got the gig in just an hour's time. So I've actually finished taking, well, actually, I don't know, because I think the birds are taking care of everything else. Um, oh, that's good. They, they're coming along. Good, good, good. So that's coming along. Uh, there's still a few more weeds there. I've taken care of Laminate and Caltrina. Hazel's got the gig soon. She's a little hungry, but that's all right. So we'll get on with that. Um, I need Chaz to... Oh yeah, by the way, I had I started off this Let's Play with a bunch of extra money because it was from the money tree. I forgot to put it in there last time. So it is down here now in the vault because uh, all the money from the money tree goes straight into the vault. That's the rule. Uh, so that, that's that. We're going to try and get most of our money from the crops and I guess Hazel's gigs. The gig's probably... Uh, not gonna earn that much, but that's fine. We did just kind of miss out on cooking. All right, let's go to work. We're not gonna spend too much time going through every step of this. I'll probably just do the gig, build it, and then show you the final reveal. Like, uh, so we won't do much of the, much of the building in between because we got a lot to do today. So we're gonna build like the secret underground vault where we steal stuff and put it. That's more important. <laughs> Hello, we're back, guys. I still haven't fixed that front door. I really got to get around to doing that. <laughs> hey there, what's going on? Do you remember me or do I have to announce engagement? Oh my gosh, why are there so many options? <sighs> you know, I saw, <laughs> I saw a post about this the other day where it's like being engaged is super duper annoying because every single option is this. 
and you have to click more before you get to everything else. Ugh. We might just have to, uh, we might have to either just get married or break up the engagement. <laughs> so we'll see. Hey guys, your toddler has made an absolute mess in this house. You, you guys know your your witches, right? You can't just use magic to clean it up. All right, we got the gray, we got the organ. Well, you know we're building a gym, right? Yeah, I don't know why they keep putting food that they're prepping on the coffee table, but anyway. Modern, okay, yeah, we can't, I mean, we already know everything they like. I guess there's not really much point <laughs> discussing this with them. Likes fitness, that's good, because you, you guys wanted a gym, so I'm glad. All right, you guys can leave. All right, so they wanted to, this is a basement gym, right? So it's gonna be down here. <laughs> okay, we gotta fit it down here. I mean, what's the point of taking before photos? Because we're not gonna be able to see anything. Um, all right, well, I guess I'll... Oh yeah, the cameras doesn't really work in the basement. I oh my gosh. We're not even gonna be able to take after photos because I can't get... The camera doesn't work in the basement and they never really fixed that. So this is, this is my before photo. This is all I can do. <laughs> but I have to have three photos. Okay, there we go. Oh wait, what? I did take three, but it only counted two. I think as long as if I don't move where my sim is, I can get a photo. Like as soon as I move, like I can take a photo here in the bathroom, but if I move the camera will pop back up. All right, there you go. All righty, build mode it is. Um, so I can't build here. It says you cannot make changes to the level other than designated by the gig, but doesn't it say basement gym? Oh, does it mean down here? Wait, I can't even build here. Where can I build? What do you want me to do? I forgot how broken this is. Like this? Nope. Can I build here? All right, we're gonna have to use cheats because it says basement, but I literally can't build in the- What do you want me to do? All right, so to fix this, bb.enable, I think is it free build? Wait, maybe I have to go back to live mode and then back into build mode. Oh yeah, okay, it is free build. So this won't use the budget, um, but whatever. Well, we've got like a $3,000 budget, so I'm not gonna go crazy, but I'll, um, you know, I'll build something somewhat decent at least. So I'll keep the bathroom down here. I'll just sort of move it here. This is literally the only bathroom they have in their house, by the way. <laughs> we haven't, we still haven't built a second bathroom anywhere. Because there's never been a bathroom renovation. Like there's space for one there, I planned, but we never got a gig to do that, so. All right, I think this is good. We've got the little gym room here. It's not too big. It, I probably would have gone over the budget if I was actually able to build this properly, especially with the bathroom redone as well, but. You know, I like it. It's pretty simple. Treadmill, weights machine, punching bag, little mat that's kind of supposed to be a yoga mat, but it's not actually, it's just a rug. A little basket for, I guess, I would imagine like cushions and like gym stuff. Uh, no, well, I guess a cushion could be useful. Not really the most useful for a gym. It's just in there anyway. Nice big mirror, speakers on the wall, little TV there as well. You know, just a gym kind of thing. Let's see if we can get some photos of this place, because otherwise we're going to have a tough time. Oh, there's the lag again. <laughs> so if I get her to stand in there and then I say, take after photo. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this photo is going to be so bad. I can't, I can't really get anything in the photo. I guess this, it has to be my photo. All right, there we go. We've got one. And if I can get her to stand like right in this corner in this room. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I can kind of get the gym. That's good. One from that angle. And I'll get one more if I can get you to stand like over here, maybe. Oh, it doesn't look very good from this angle, to be honest. Oh, well. <laughs> look, you get what you pay for. And they actually didn't pay anything for this because I didn't spend any of their money. All right, call clients a lot. Looking good. Job well done. <laughs> the before photos. Uh, the bathroom can have that one. And then the random hallway can have these. There you go. Look, not the best comparison, but it's what I got to work with. What can I say? Alrighty guys, come on in. It's gonna be pretty epic. It's just down this way. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Ta-da! Wait, ta-da! Oh, it actually worked. Okay, but yeah! Oh, the door is open. <laughs> okay, hallway set. Oh, yeah! There you go. Looking good. And finally, little bathroom. I mean, look at that. Much better. Not a great... Look, I'm not a photographer. I'm an interior decorator, all right? I did what I could. <laughs> All right, they like gray, so check that out. That's gray, and then this is fitness, and then this is fitness. All right, guys, check it out. You like it? I mean, you guys keep hiring me, so surely you'd like it. Oh, actually, while I'm here, I, I always forget to put up pictures. What do we got? Um, What's something motivating? That's pretty motivating. It's a bike. Yeah, that's good. There you go. And then I got to steal something, too. So while you guys are looking there, what can I take? Prom oh, I should just, I should just place something I can steal. I always forget to do that. I need something for my museum though. Maybe, th can I take this? I can't steal that, really? Man, can't take that bed. 
Welcome to my museum. Can I take this? That's pretty nice. I'll go, I'll go borrow that. <laughs> um, you have like the worst kid ever, by the way. They play in the toilet. Also, your dog is like sick and dying all the time. Every time I'm here. And look at all this mess from the toddler too. Right, let's just, let me just grab this real quick. Thanks, guys. All right, are you ready to wrap this up? Let's get the final verdict. What do you reckon about the basement gym? Oh, she loves it. Of course she does. I'd be surprised if she didn't. What about you? Oh, we haven't finished looking at it yet. Let me test it for you guys. Look, pretty good. Works really well. You ready to... Okay, good. <laughs> All right, final verdict. What do you reckon? You like it? Oh, yeah, she loved it. All right, let's go home. All right, let me clear out some of this junk in here too. 800 bucks just for that. Sweet. Did you ever finish cooking? What happened to that? I think it just disappeared. Anyway, oh, are you sick as well? Man, okay. Well, I'll leave you to it. Hey, Chaz, how are you going? You're pretty good. How's this garden? It looks all pretty nice. I don't think we need to do anything. I mean, I probably could like, oh, wait, shoot. there's a lot of weeding over here. Let's go do that. Tending garden and as well, Trenton. Actually, I say a lot of weeding. It's really not. Trenton, um, you can collect the eggs from here. Clean this coop. That's not Trenton. That's Angus. What the heck? Although, yeah, you can do it. Why not? It's good learning experience. Collect eggs. Clean the coop. Dang. Nice selection of eggs there. Angus doesn't have enough mental skill to sell the money tree. Dang. That's rough, dude. <laughs> Go get your mental skill up then. All right, Trenton. Um, actually, speaking of Angus, you probably have a bunch of eggs in here now too. Let me get rid of those. Those in there. What do we? What do we got in here, by the way? Quite a lot. We can probably go sell those soon. Is there anything down here? Because I mean, I get, I get. Oh, there is. Yeah, because I say we left, so sometimes it sort of replenishes. Now, Trenton, I do actually want to use you. Let's go take care of the animals over here. I'm actually going to see if I can get Trenton to uh, maybe build up some friendship. Okay, that... <laughs> okay. Some friendship with one of the chickens because we're going to need them. No, no, trade for. We're going to need them for the chicken fair. So give you a friendly trait. Here you go, buddy. Want this? Truly really name you. Goldie. Okay, sure. There you go. Oh, there you go. Look. Building some relationship. Hagrid, what the heck? Why you got flies around you and eating chicken treats? <laughs> Gosh. All right. Hang on. I got to take care of you too. How's Fei Fei? I feel like Fei Fei probably also needs a bath. All right, we got some good progress with Goldie there, which is nice. How are you going, by the way? Are you still doing your math game? Is that giving you more mental skill? It is. Can you sell from the money tree now? Oh, you can. Not that I want to. Oh, yeah, you can. Why not? Go sell money for it. Go use that mental skill. Or just completely freeze and... Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, so Chaz is giving Fei Fei a bath and Trenton is giving Hagrid a bath. Whoa, that is dirty. Holy, what have you been in, Hagrid? <laughs> Jeez. Is Fei Fei's that bad? <laughs> I don't think so. All right, let's add that money to the uh, the old vault. Oh my gosh, we really need to... We need to get those um, crops growing today. I think we will. We're on the way. All right, add money to vault. 22, 225. I think it's usually the amount, right? I about that. There we go. And then now we say nap and money. That should make you feel pretty good, I think. <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm talking about. So we've got 111,000 in there now. Just from the money tree. I'm perfectly, like, if you've forgotten why, we're not, we don't want to use that because, I mean, that's so easy to get money. It's a bit more challenging to build out our basement using the actual farm, you know? So that's kind of what we're working on. Um, are you going to go... Don't wake up Chaz. Chaz is napping in the money vault. I'm going to go talk to Trenton. Hang on, go here. Uncle Chaz is in the money vault. It's a secret. <laughs> Where's your mum? Where's Hazel? Oh, she's down in the kitchen. Okay, wait, go there. Scream incoherently at mum. There you go. <laughs> hey, mum. What's up? It's me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Sorry. I just have to walk around the house a few times and then scream. I'm good now. Thanks, mom. <laughs> she reached social level three from that. Good. Somehow. I don't know how that happened. Why is this bath always filled with mud? He's having a bubble bath. It's not a mud bath. He's literally having a bubble bath, but there's just mud in it. Did you not clean it after you bathed Hagrid? Because it looks disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna need you to clean that bath, please. Let's do an instant upgrade on this bath, make it really good. There you go. All right, do we have some food or anything? What's going on here? Do you have any leftovers? I guess not. I guess everyone just kind of cooks their own food. What, you had another nightmare? Don't we have your light in here? Isn't that what this is for? I thought they were supposed to stop. Oh, it's not even on. That's probably why. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, just have a nap, you'll be fine. Hazel's just out, oh, she's just outside in the rain painting. She's like, no, my painting, it's ruined. Oh well. All right, what do we got? What do we got? So, oh, lottery. All right, Thursday. We're only on Monday. It's been one day. Let's get through some of these days. I mean, look, there's not much happening, so we'll probably just cut forward to each of the days when we're doing stuff. Ooh, a golden egg hatch. Yeah. So we got another golden uh, chick, which is great. 
Ah, oh, Hazel's work is going to be in an episode of Ace Space. Friday, 8 to 10 a.m. Oh, 10 p.m., sorry. Sweet. I feel like I'm not going to remember that. Also, didn't we have, like, a maid or something? Because we had, like, dog poo everywhere around the house. <laughs> what happened to that? <laughs> oh, this robot. No, oh, why am I calling myself? That's so creepy. <laughs> Go away. Leave me alone. <laughs> why is this maid vacuuming out, vacuuming out the puddle from my broken toilet? You know, number one, a vacuum is not supposed to be used on puddles. Hey, Patchy. <laughs> Patchy's like, what are you doing? Here, let me fix it. <laughs> what is happening in this room? <laughs> Thanks, Patchy. Don't worry, I'll fix the toilet. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, okay, so there goes my money. My bills are $7,200. I'm gonna guess that's probably from my $100,000 vault I have. Um, okay, well, we can't pay those bills right now. We, I think we actually do have enough money. So what I'm gonna do is 3 p.m. Let me grab, are these harvestable? Yeah, they are, cool. So we're, we're getting there near the harvest, which is great. I say in here, is that a chick? Aw. So we have plenty of golden eggs. So this should hopefully, and plenty of just eggs in general. If we're gonna sell all this to Kim, she's gonna give me some sweet money. Ooh, actually Kim might not like me anymore. We had that falling out. I might go to the, if the Crumple Bottom stall is open, I'm gonna go to them. <laughs> crumple Bottoms? Sweet. I'm gonna go haggle. Uh, I don't want to see Kim right now. We we had a we had a, a falling out. You know, it's rough. Are you crazy? I'm not crazy. I'm a local farmer here. I make your business thrive. Without my produce, you'd have nothing. That's what I thought. Sell my items. <laughs> right, I guess I might as well get rid of the llama wall. Get rid of all those eggs, the golden eggs, the hatchable eggs, obsidian eggs, and that's it. Six thousand bucks. I mean, look, that's pretty good. We can at least pay the bills with that. I'll just do that now. Hey Kim, I know we um, don't hang out anymore, but oh, she doesn't want to give me, you, you don't want to give me a, a discount? Really? Really? I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep hassling you. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> and what, actually, I was going to, we should probably buy like, some meat and stuff because we don't have that at all. We can't make anything. All right, I just bought a, a selection of stuff. Thanks Kim. All righty Chaz, let's just pop all that in the fridge. All right, what can we actually make now that we've got a selection of produce? <laughs> Surely something good, right? Tuna casserole. There we go. Single serving? I can only make one of those? <laughs> oh, I need cheese. Okay, can I make cheese at least? Okay, okay, let me let me make some cheese first. Um, what is that sound? But <laughs> why is that still there? I literally fixed it and sent it back inside. I hate these robots. We turned off the dust system because of these robots and it's still... I know we're keeping this one on purpose, but like it's still giving us... What, Chaz, why did you stop? We need the cheese. <laughs> okay, it's broken again. Like, I know it's raining, but I thought maybe it'd be able to get inside at least. Stupid. Is it broken, like, immediately? Yeah, it is. Great. <laughs> yeah, did you finish the cheese? You did. Tuna casserole. Party size. There we go. I should get some food going in this house. Hey, kids, you gotta do your homework, by the way. I oh, whoa, you got a project as well. Okay. Project time! Um, uh, there's a bit of... This is our project room. That's right. Here we go. Yeah, Hazel, go assist with project and then Trenton, go here and you can assist with the other project in just a second. There you go, look at this. This, is, this will be a nice little family moment. There you go. And Chaz is making everyone some dinner. Patchy's hanging out. Patchy's a little scared. It's okay, buddy. You're a scarecrow. You don't need to be a scared, man. You'll be, you'll be fine. How's everyone up here? Pretty good. <laughs> yeah! Alrighty, he's got the tuna casserole. Put the rest in the fridge. Who died? Losing a friend. Hello? Did you die? Omar Sousa has passed away. Uh, who's that? Apparently we knew them. Elder. Oh, maybe you're someone from the town, I guess? I don't know. Apparently we know you. Clearly I didn't know you. The oh, you're the mayor. Good riddance, actually. <laughs> you know, good riddance. I should have won that last fair and it wasn't fair. Now, I'm not saying that I had anything to do with Omar disappearing, but um, I'm not going to miss him. <laughs> Wait, they've been awarded extra credit, but... They haven't even finished it. Oh wait, there it goes. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. I was like, they're not done. All right, now you also have to do your homework and you have to do your homework too. And Trenton, there should be some leftovers. Chaz is also making a roast chicken right now too, which is good. So we're actually gonna have food for once. There you go. Hazel, help with the extra credit homework. That'll be nice. You know, look, they're actually interacting with their kids. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> how's, the, how's the farm? Looking pretty good. I think in the next day or two, everything should hopefully be harvestable. Should be great. Look, this is all looking pretty good over here. We better sell all that. I hope they get enough money to do some nice renovations to the basement, which would be good. We'll go from there. Uh-oh. She's lactose intolerant. Was that like, oh yeah, there was cheese in that. 
Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's a problem. What are you doing? Go to the toilet. Stop. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Quick, go, go. There's no. Oh, she didn't make it. I don't know why. Why were you trying to clean up all the plate? Oh, yuck! Don't leave that there. Chaz, clean up an aisle one. <laughs> oh, poor Nina. Okay, how are our little water things doing? Are they okay? Yeah, I think they are. They're actually not broken. That's good. All right, beginning of another day. Oh no, there's something strange under Angus's bed now. That's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. How are we going down over here? Are we clean? We gotta collect some eggs. Clean. You know, the huge. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure Nina doesn't eat the tuna casserole because that'll make her sick. She can have, also not the cheese. Do not eat that. She can have the meat pie. That should be okay. Oh, actually the chicken. Let's have the chicken. Unless it was cooked in butter, in which case, maybe not. We'll see. Oh no, she's thinking about how she needs nappies. That's so sad. Poor Nina. All right, so Trenton just spent all his time harvesting. Now, are the stalls open till seven? I think so, right? Because I want to sell all this stuff. We need money. Oh, yes it is. All right. Go haggle with Kim. At least we didn't have a falling out with Kim. Come on, go! Go! We don't have time for you to think about it. Just do it. Don't, stop being sad. Hurry up. You have 30 sim minutes, which is basically zero time. Kim, I don't have time for your games right now. Oh, actually, she, she said yes. Sorry, Kim, I didn't mean to yell at you. I just thought you'd say no. Oh, I didn't bring all the eggs that we had as well. Dang it. Now, mushrooms I should sell to the other creeper guy, right? So let me try that. Oh, that is good, good money. 13 grand. Now, are you open? I want to buy from you. Uh, I got 15 minutes. If she doesn't let me haggle, it's going to be rough. Come on. Come on, Agatha. Don't do this to me. Oh good, she did. Hey, everyone's really cooperating today. I want to do a whole crop of just aubergine. So I'm going to get 72 of those. Is there, does she sell the um, fertilizer? Oh yeah, she does, good. Passive free grow fast. What about just like regular vitality? Do they not sell that? I guess I have to buy that myself. Oh no, it's here. Okay, cool. I'm gonna, I can only buy 99 in one go, which is kind of annoying. Cause I want to, I want fertilizer for the whole thing. But then again, like I want to, I want to do a whole bunch of it. So I'm just, gonna, I just can't just do that. So we spent four grand on all that stuff. Worth it. Now let's see if we can go to this park again and find the creepy mushroom guy. Hey, it works. Oh my gosh, this place looks awesome in autumn. I don't think I've actually seen this with in autumn, have we? I don't remember. Looks really cool. All these trees look like mushrooms. Maybe that's why that guy likes living here. Oh my gosh. Why don't I have a bike? And also, why do you have to be sad? It's gonna take us forever to get over there. Hey man, I I'm coming. Just just hold up. Just stand creepily in front of your door. I'll be there. Hey man. Oh, this, can we please stop hanging right in front of the house where I can't see you? Good. There we go. So this is a new mushroom guy. Oh my gosh. All the engagement stuff. No, no, no. All right. Oh, the mushroom price. Look at those. We can extort this guy for so much mushroom. Oh, and the chocolate berries too. Dang. 5,856. Thanks, buddy. Don't mind if I do, right? We got 20 grand. Not too shabby. All right, so I'm just gonna wait for the rest of this stuff to grow, which I guess should be probably in the next day, and then I'll plant everything else. Um, and we're also just kind of waiting for uh, Angus's birthday and then the next fair. So I guess we're just gonna hang out till some stuff happens. Wait, why do I still have the mushrooms in here? I just sold 40 of them. The game only took one. <laughs> I sold 40 mushrooms. It took one. I sold two of these. It took one. Wait, I can go sell these again. Okay, well that's I'm that's cheating. That's pretty funny. But I'm gonna I'm gonna recycle. I'm gonna shred them. Put them in the shredder and get rid of them. And goodbye, extra mushrooms. Oh my gosh, fifty six thousand banana peels. How many banana peels do we have? One hundred eighty nine thousand. We're not really using them, so we just keep accumulating them. Ooh, these are ready to harvest. Sweet. Oh yeah, this is teamwork. So I've got Trenton planting all the new aubergines, Patchy is watering them, and Chaz is coming to fertilize all of them. So it's like a, it's like a little production line we got going here, you know? <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> this is actually working so well. Oh yes, and the golden chickens are doing their work too. Beautiful. I'm hoping this is harvestable soon so we can get it out of the way. <laughs> Patchy gave up. Like Trenton and Chaz are like dying, and Patchy's like, nah, screw this, I'm out. I don't think Chaz is going to finish the, uh, you know, I'm going to get him to stop. He did pretty good, but he he's really going to go to bed. He's so tired. We nearly planted everything. Okay, we got, we got to take a break. Okay, this bath is always just muddy. I don't know what Kim did to it, but she ruined my bath. Oh, oh my god! Why did you faint? <laughs> you okay? I think you're okay. Are you, are you hungry? 
Oh boy. All right, so today is Angus's birthday. Finally, what cake will we make? Strawberry cake, because we can just make that. All right, so I just spent some time refertilizing again. I think I just ran out. I've got a little bit, I think I got a couple, yeah, super vitality, but I literally fertilize every single crop and it's like already worn off. So the vitality, I feel like wears off so quick. All right, I've loaded up Chaz with all the extra stuff that we need to go sell. So we're gonna go sell that downtown now, get a bunch more money. Uh, hey, Kim got old. Oh, was she already old before? I don't remember now, but she definitely aged up. All right, well, I'm gonna go haggle with the crumple bottoms. I don't feel like dealing with you. Oh yeah. Now I could go sell the mushrooms to that guy again, but then we'd have to deal with it like, glitching out and keeping them. So I'm just gonna sell them all here. 32,000 total, pretty good. Pretty, hey, I still have three eggs. Okay, fine, Kim's gonna get these. Cause I can't haggle again with that place for a little while. All right, thanks Kim for the extra cash. See ya. Oh, it's all weedy now, <laughs> dang it. Okay, well it is uh, Angus's birthday. So everybody, please. How, can we do this? Can I just say, please take your seats? That'd be amazing. Uh, Trenton there, Hazel there, Chaz there, Nina there, Angus here. All right, let's watch this fail spectacularly. Alrighty, every, I'm trying to wrangle everybody into the room. Kind of working so far. I just gotta hope that they don't get up and move, which they probably will. So let me turn off free will. All right, free will is off. So hopefully everyone will just sort of stay here. Okay, just kind of waiting for Chaz. He's taking his time. Where is he? Chaz? What the heck are you doing down over there? Oh my gosh. Okay, he was supposed to, I don't know why he's down. I'm just gonna teleport him here because it's gonna take forever. All right, let's go sit down, please. It's a big moment. This is where he t ages up into a teenager and the blue skin disappears. Because I don't think he's actually an alien. He just has blue skin. And same with Nina. I don't think either of them are actually aliens. But I guess we find out when they're a teenager at the least. So anyway, they're all here. Amazing. All right, here we go. Time to blow out the candles. It is a little awkward how far away Hazel is. Oh, okay, you're getting up. Really, now's when you get up and turn around? Yeah, there we go. Yay! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, we, we definitely, um, we're definitely making some changes there. <laughs> All right. I guess for now, because at some point, Angus and Nina will probably use for the next Let's Play, but we don't even know what the next pack is going to be because look, we're not doing a wedding stories let's play. I don't know if that's clear yet, but that's not happening. So in the meantime, we can just choose, I want to choose some knowledge, you know, to be a bit of a nerd brain, but you will have the trait of a music lover. Why not? Squeamish music lover and a nerd brain. There you go. All right, let's do the, uh, oh my gosh, not even just the hair, but the the outfit. What is happening? Good lord. Yeah, so let me just check. I don't think, oh my god, you definitely have Hazel's face, by the way. I don't think you're an alien because we can't do any of the alien things. Yeah, and actually your plum bob's not an alien either. So anyway, let's, uh, I guess, change Sim and we'll do a little bit of a makeover. And yeah, he definitely doesn't have a disguise because his dad, who is a full alien, Trenton, he's got the disguise there and then Angus doesn't. Okay, let's, let's change his hair. This is... <laughs> this is no good. Now, you're also a teenager, so I feel like it shouldn't be like too hip. Why is this like messy, like natural hair? Like, I feel like everything is so styled and, and oh, oh. fancy. Where it's just like, I'm a teenager, I didn't do my hair. I mean, I guess that, <laughs> but even that's not. Ooh, I kind of like the overalls. Because <laughs> he's like living on a farm, so I don't know, maybe he has overalls. It's kind of weird that it's got paint on it, but let's not worry about that. Why in his sleep outfit? Does he have like the worst clothes on? Like what is, I don't know. I feel like every single time I'm always amazed at what the game decides to choose. Like, and not the good kind of amazed. <laughs> there, that'll do. Oh yeah, now that's a party outfit. Let's go. Let's get a fun shirt. Oh my gosh, that is so sh- Wait, when was this added to the game, by the way? This is base game. This is definitely not in base game. Whoa. Okay, we're definitely wearing that. I don't know when that was added. I guess it was one of those random drops that they don't tell you what's in it for some reason. Now, I'm fully aware that this outfit makes no sense with this sim, but I mean, bad jacket, come on. What the heck? <laughs> the default outfits in this game are so wild. Why do they do this to you? Oh, this is actually kind of cool. Do they not have this like separately? Cause this would actually be really cool to have these as separate. I gotta say those, some hot weather clothes right there. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Cold weather, most stylish teenager I've ever seen. Let's just go with this. 
No, not that. Let's go with... Yeah, now that... That's... This guy's got a wild, wild combination of clothes. Okay, so look. Cold weather? Hot weather. Swimwear? That's normal. Party? That's... That's wild. Sleepwear? Yeah, that's normal. Athletic? That's kind of cool. Like, that's kind of cool. And then this is nerdy? I don't... I don't... I don't know what this is. And then this is almost just kind of dopey. Like he's wearing this to school. Well, it's not dopey, but it's just a bit like, I don't know, why would you wear painted overalls to school? There you go. Look, once he has his own series and he's an adult, we'll, we'll do a proper cohesive selection of clothes. I kind of just had fun, to be honest. But on that note, unfortunately, I'm going to think I'm going to have to leave it here because I know we're only on Thursday. I really wanted to get to the fair and do the basement build, but... This took a heck of a lot longer than I thought it was going to. I, you know, I thought we'd smash it out in like an hour or, or even two, but it's been about two and a half hours of me playing right now. So it's just taken a long time. But next episode, I think we'll definitely get all these crops grown again. Next episode, we'll definitely get the fair again. And I think I'm going to promise we'll do the basement build next episode. Because now we've got, we got 34,000 simoleons. So we definitely have money to actually do the build, whereas at the beginning of this episode, we didn't. So we'll do that next episode. Um, but I think we did some good stuff today. We did a full harvest. We sold all that. We also had Trenton, not Trenton's, Angus's birthday. He's finally a teenager. Oh my gosh, he looks so much like his mother too in these little, little pictures down the bottom. Because he's got same skin tone as mom and also, I guess, same textured hair. His mom kind of wavy thick. And I guess Trenton's is kind of like that dude, just blonde. Um, yeah, he looks exactly like Hazel. <laughs> it's so funny. But until next time, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave your comments and suggestions down below. And have an awesome day.